Hello guys, it's Zafcor, and I actually want to go over, I'm actually going to go over three heroes over the course of this week, um, because one of the people on my um, YouTube page asked me to do this, but um, the first one I'll go over is Terminator. Um, long term, I think Terminator is one of the best heroes you can invest in, but the simple fact that he gets an SS level up, so his skills actually get better. So if you're going to invest in a hero, you can invest in Terminator. I have him at two stars because I plan on upgrading the stars on him and Sadie. I'm not sure about Bill Riser yet, but Terminator is a definite um, investment. And the reason why is his stats are really good. He's got really good stats. Um, you compare him and John Connor, they have some of the best stats um, in, for PvP. Like, Bill Riser is not that not that great and she's not as good but these guys are all over the place <gasps> excuse me as far as pvp goes like 1v1 you don't need assist so i i don't even consider it um it's only for 2v2 and 3v3 so i don't even like consider it um necessary his survival is good his control is good his move is good his damage is good and his burst is good he has he really has a great stat spread, which is amazing. Um, like I said, I think he's one of the best heroes. He's not as good as John Connor, but I'm not that good with John Connor. John Connor is actually a better DPS than him, but I'm not that good with John Connor. So, hey, um, I play him well, but like a lot of people put more time into John Connor than I do. But I put a lot of time into Terminator, and it shows. I get ultimate champion every time. And there's a reason why my um, Terminator is better than my John Connor because I unlocked all of his uh, bonding skills. I did not do that for John Connor. So that's why his performance is a little better. As far as skills go, Electromagnetic Pulse is a really great skill. Let me just show you what it does. It hits and it stuns. And... You actually have the rider form as well. I'll talk about the rider form second. With this, like when the electromagnetic post is fired, if the hero is holding the rifle, the second rifle will be able to fire, be fired at any same time. This is good. This is why AK rifle is it's really a good weapon for him because it works with his passives. He fires a, a blast that stuns the um, opponent and it tracks. Which sometimes the tracking depends on the speed of your phone. I'll say that about um, some of these characters. Your phone speed will determine the effectiveness of the attacks that they land. Most people won't say that, but I'll say that. So you're dealing like 200.3.2 damage plus 925 points in damage as well as stun. Hero's weapon damage is also increased by 20%. That increased damage is really good because once you fire it you get two guns and you get to attack the enemy which is really good um this is a really good skill and you get on on the when you get on the motorcycle he dashes and he hits your opponent for 155.2 damage plus 717 points in damage as well as he knocks back the enemy it also slows the enemy at the same time as a person who fights Terminator, this is really good. Uh, I fight a lot of Terminators, and the fact that he can knock you back, knock you back, and slow you down is um, kind of amazing. It, it really, he really is a great character. Um, I wish I can get him on my free-to-play account. I will try, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Um, wormhole travel, passive effect, gain assault effect after using wormhole travel, increases his own weapon damage by forty percent, and get a twenty percent shield. It's reduced in PvP, as of course. Meanwhile, the weapon shooting does not consume ammo for four seconds. That's really important. Um, that's why when you when we go to weapons and uh, overall playstyle, this this becomes a, extremely important because you want to fire your weapon. You don't want to really attack um, within that four second margin. You want to use your weapons to get the most out of this uh, passive effect. The HP shield is really good too. It increases the survivability by a lot. Not as much as Bill Riser and uh, Snow Bear, but he's a DPS, so anything is um, appreciated. That's why when we go to his weapons, you'll see that uh, he benefits from a lot of weapons. 
because his play style can be adjusted. Um, human form wormhole travel creates a wormhole at the target location, causing 284.5 percent damage plus 1,307 damage in the slow effect to nearby enemies, which is really good. Ride your motorcycle through the wormhole to enemies and continue to cause 284.5 percent damage plus 1,307 damage and slow effect to nearby enemies. This is really good. It's basically saying the same thing. Um, this 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 um skill is good, but I hate the fact that it um it takes so slow. If you try to push the button sometimes with uh death bombing, it doesn't go off. If it was quicker, I think it's maybe my phone, but it it just doesn't fire fast enough for me. If you guys um if you guys um. Notice that too. You can talk about that because I I feel that it's not fast enough. Like not the the speed itself, but I I push the button twice and it, it just won't work. Yeah, it's really powerful. So timing is everything with this web, with this move. Um, sorry, Chad. I already did it. Jump off the motorcycle and it will explode later, causing two hundred eighty four point five percent damage. Plus 1,307 damage and stun nearby enemies, detaching itself from rider form. This is really cool. We can see it. All right. And then, see, that that part goes so slow. Like, not this part, but the second part. Like, sometimes when I push the button, it doesn't go. That's why I have to time it really well. But once but once you master it, it's really good. And he's got some really great passes. This dude has some really awesome bonding skills. Then riding, if holding shotgun type weapon, you will use the additional shotgun to attack the enemy. That's why shotguns are really good on him if you play a close-up game. The problem with shotguns is they only work for Terminator. They don't work for everybody else. <laughs> um, like in 1v1, you want to actually have weapons that work for uh, mul multiple players. Um, that's why throwers are actually good on Terminator. We'll talk about that later. Um... You don't need to unlock this. Nothing. You don't need to do anything to unlock that. When the electromagnetic cannon is fired, if holding a rifle, then an extra rifle will be used at the start of the dual, dual hole shooting enemy. This is really good. This actually is the reason why his DPS is so high because he has passives like this. Um, this weapon you can actually get from Arena. You can actually roll it, roll in um, training ground. And you can also get it in. Team Adventure at an early stage, so it's not hard to level that weapon up. But this this um, passive is worth it, and it makes him a really strong character. Destruction time, gain assault effect after using wormhole travel, increases his own weapon damage by 40% and get a 40% HP shield, which is really good. Which is reduced in PvP. Meanwhile, the shooting weapon does not consume ammo for four seconds. That's why um he's such a good um DPS. Excuse me, because this actually overlaps with uh, the shotgun weapon. So when you shoot shotgun, you actually don't um, consume ammo for the first four seconds when you're on the motorcycle. The shotguns actually deal massive amounts of damage because of the fact of its low um, low attack range. So you want to warp in, attack, and uh, start getting damage. Now this weapon is easy to get because you can get it in training ground. You can get it in um, Boss challenge at an early level. You can get it at the um, training training ground. You can get it in team adventure. You can get it at get it at the um, boss challenge, and you can get random rewards that gets it. Sorry, man. Um, let me finish this. I'm so sorry. I'm dizzying speed. The riding form will gradually increase the movement speed and weapon damage, reaching the highest value after three seconds, increasing the movement speed up to thirty percent and weapon damage by 15%. This is really good because um, once you get on the motorcycle, you want to chase down your opponent and you want to attack him or you want to run away. And this um, weapon is kind of hard to get. You actually have to roll for it. And then the weapon's not even good that great. Um, Lightning Laser Cannon is crap to me. Uh, I'll talk about it in a separate video, but um, I don't think it's that great. I don't think the Awakenings are that great. I just don't think it's a great weapon. They're just cannons... Cannons are really strong, is a really strong weapon group for PvP. 
And compared to like uh, Shadow Inferno and uh, your um, Golden Crusher, and the new the new ones are that I, that came out, it's it's crap. It's a decent weapon, but it's crap compared to it's like in, in this group, it's crap. It, it, it's just crap. And you got to roll for it, so it, that's that's why um, I think overall that I had to invest in Terminator and continue to invest in him because. Like, I only got this weapon to um, unlock his passive in my field. This is a, this weapon is actually solid. Heavy Determinants. Dealing weapon damage to enemies within 5 meters will reduce the enemy's movement speed by 4. Stacking up the 4 levels. This is actually really good. Um, actually, this actually overlaps with uh, Shotgun and um, the... What was it? And um, Destruction Time. Because you want to hit your opponent with a shotgun and you want to slow them down and you can just like start bashing them. People with higher phone speeds actually take advantage of this very well. So I've seen it up close and personal. How 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 good heavy deterrence is. Heavy deterrence is really good. And you power Zeus is actually a solid weapon. Not so much for PvP, but for PvE content when we're trying to clear um um what is it Galuga outbreak um. Ah, vicious dumps. I already played it. Sorry, sorry. Um, this is actually a really good weapon. Um, just for PVE content itself, it's really good. So it's not a total waste of a weapon, but you have to roll for it, and that's the bad part. Uh, so we can actually talk about skins for a second. The only skin that you really want to use on this guy is the uh, next gen. Because you get hero damage plus one percent. Um, dizzying speed appearance, classic lines from the movie, power of the, from the future, war between man and machine. And that doesn't matter. You get high charisma and you get damage increase, and that's what's important. The other skins don't give you damage increase. This is the only one. And this is the only one I want because it gets you damage increase, which makes them better. Okay, let's go into weapons. Um, weapons for Terminator is really weird. Um, you can use a variety of weapons. Uh, first of all, Shadow Inferno Cannon is, is, is a solid weapon for any guy. And he can use this really well. The stack on his stuns, which he gets a lot of stuns. Um, Golden M4A1 is a really solid weapon for him. Because it stacks with his passive. So it's a really great weapon. Uh, M4A Roaring Thunder is actually better. But uh, it's hard to level this weapon up. And so is gay, Golden AK Rifle is really good. Um, for um, free-to-play players, uh, where is it at? Burst Inferno Cannon works well. Um, M4A Crimson works well. And if you can for M4A Crimson uh, AK Assault Rifle works well. It's not as great as the weapons I mentioned before. But if you're on a free-to-play account, that doesn't matter. You're just trying to make do with what you got. Uh, and okay. Golden Crusher actually is really good. Because for the first four seconds it doesn't consume ammo. So that's really good. Um, C16 Creator is really good too. Uh, but if you're free to play. Uh, Golden Cru uh, Crusher Rocket Launcher is really awesome. I wouldn't go lower than that. There's other um, like Challenger Rocket Launcher. I wouldn't go lower than that. Um, assault grenade launch is really good on him too. Because he can actually um, use these weapons because he can get closer to the opponent. So you don't have to worry about um, so much like with... Where, where's it at? Let me go down here. Oh, it's not even... Yeah, with, with this weapon, you don't have to worry about aiming as much. And then when you're far away, you can... Um, actually disorient the opponent so grenade so um grenade launches are really good on him and you'd be surprised how many people use it really well golden gatling is all right but there's better weapons for him sniper rifle is all right but there's better weapons for him i think sniper rifle is good on other characters but for terminator um since he's going to be close to the opponent he doesn't really need sniper rifles and if he's close to the opponent, he can use uh, cannons and um, 
um, grenade launchers. I, I just don't see the point of Golden Gatling is good, but I don't see the point of point of it on Terminator. I don't see the point. Uh, of course, bows suck. Those are actually good on Terminator because now in the new meta you can press your opponent. So Titan Incinerator is actually good on Terminator. Um, and even Ice Age is actually good on Terminator because of Plasma Shield. You get actually get Plasma Shield with this weapon. I did not know. And you get Defense Advancement if you max it out. So this weapon is actually solid on Terminator. So don't overlook that weapon. Uh, as far as free to play options go, Blizzard is okay because um, you get Plasma Shield on it, and Plasma Shield actually increases his survivability. And since he gets in close, he can hurt people. So overall, Terminator is one of the um, best heroes in the meta right now. Um, I thank him, Sadie, John Connor, uh, Quint, and Vera right now are the best. And five stars, uh, five stars, um, Lance, Iron Lance. But yeah, your strategy with Terminator is twofold. You fight one way on the motorcycle, and you fight one way without the motorcycle. Motorcycle, you're close range. You're trying to destroy your opponent. Long range, you're trying to stun and attack your opponent. It's pretty simple to understand, but once you start getting into it, it gets a little more complicated because you have to time his movements and stuff. And sometimes um, his warp doesn't always land because sometimes I use uh, wormhole travel and I can't touch the opponent. So that's why when you use like grenade launchers, it's, it's kind of pre pre preferable so you can actually see where your opponent is so you can fly on your wormhole travels. But aside from that, he's an easy character to pick up and learn. But if you like my content, hit the like, share, subscribe button. Uh, I'll get back to you with more content. I got to do uh, John Connor and I got to do Quint. I actually want to play a little more with Quint. Because I want to like understand him a little more. Because getting his rage up and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I still got a little bit to learn with him. Anyways, have a good day. Laters.